I know. And then, man, look, I got so drunk, right? Mm -hmm. I don't even feel like drinking today. What? I'm fucking exhausted. Very, very exhausted. I'm gonna gamble. What up, what up? I'm gonna just try to give it some time. You, what'd you say? I said, I'm gonna gamble because you're not drinking today. You're gonna gamble? Mm hmm. I'm just trying to let everybody load up in the room. You know what I mean? Give it a minute. Yo, I got the best people coming on today. It's about to be live. What up, everybody? What up? I'm a little, I'm a little sluggish at the moment, but I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my energy right. You heard? I'm gonna get it together. You know what I mean? I'm letting everybody load up. Touch up on the yeah. That henny, that henny was no joke. And instead of playing games with the kids, that was just no joke. Yeah, I just letting everybody load up. Right here. What's up, you and me? Um, yeah, most definite. But yeah, now nah, today, um, I'm waiting for them to join too, and I'm gonna bring them on today. You know, um, the last days I brought on the lesbian triad. Much love to them, the the Manny team or the Money team. Atlanta Thruple, you know, two beautiful women, one king. Uh, yesterday we had the Taylor family. Oh no, yeah, the day before they had the Taylor family polygyny lifestyle. You know what I mean? Um, one man, two wives. And then uh, today I'm gonna have the roughs. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the Ruffs. I know they had the rough talk. It, they're, they're basically a married couple, but they there they go right there. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm going to go ahead and bring them on. Yes, sir. Connecting right now. There it go. There it go. But yeah, what up, bro? What up, Porter? What up, family? What up? <laughs> Look at this angle, right? Look, wifey told me I was nothing but all nostrils and forehead last time. <laughs> 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 What's up with y'all, man? Hey, yo, thank you for joining me, fam. You know I had to bring y'all on. I love how y'all do things. I love everything y'all about it. Y'all still need to bring rough talk back. I've been saying that from the get go. We, um, <laughs> we 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 working on it, man. We working on it. We've been slacking. Yeah, y'all need to get it together. The people want to hear it. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, most definitely, fam. I'm just trying to bring the community together, show that there are so many people living poly the own way, their own type of way. You know what I mean? The way they want to. Right. You know, so um, I'm gonna let y'all speak. You know, kind of introduce yourself to everybody that's here. You know what I mean? Let them know your little skilo, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so extra. Hey, I gotta be extra. <laughs> we are the roughs. My name is Eddie, and this is my beautiful wife, Kiera. Um, we are a polyamorous couple. We have been married for it'll be eight. It'll years. be eight years in, in June. June. And we're probably gonna be able to do shit. We'll make a shake. We'll make some shake. Okay. Um, <laughs> but we'll be married for eight years in June. We've been li living this poly lifestyle for about five years now out of that eight um we started out as monogamous very monogamous um very christian <laughs> um but we kind of broke out of all of that like kind of gradually out of everything and started when, once we started thinking for ourselves and um really started examining how we wanted to be loved hell when we started out we didn't know what the hell polyamory was okay yeah um it was just swinging and being open. No, poly, I mean, um, swinging and uh, polygamy. Yeah, that's all we knew. Yeah. So you know, getting into the getting into the lifestyle and doing research and listening to other couples and things like that, like that's how we've gotten to where we are now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I already kind of know y'all's backstory, so I know it's gonna be kind of repetitive because I already know y'all. So, but I know I don't know if everybody knows y'all stuff and everything, like how it came about. You know, um, you know, it's just a typical question. You know, what I mean, um, you know, like who brought it up? You know, I know that story. You know, I know it's 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 a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's my favorite story in the in yeah. Out, so you can tell me stories. how it came about, especially being monogamous and then wanting to convert to polyamory. Like, how did that come about? So in the beginning, there was a bedroom, okay? And in that bedroom, there was two people, Kiara and Eddie. <laughs> and Kiara and Eddie was getting busy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kiara, during the act of us getting busy, was like, uh... I would like to what up at the table? Bam. 
just like that. I would like to see you with another woman. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. We, we, we having sex, so, you know, you just living in the moment right now. So, cool. I ignored her. She's never said anything, uh, anything prior to that. So, another time, we in the bedroom again. This is the second time she said something. I was like, okay, this is twice. I ain't going to act on it. Because you know how women do, right? Yeah. You know how women are trying to trap us. Like a yes is a, it's still, a yes should be a no. And a no should be a yes. You know how they be trying to trap us. But I didn't bite the first two times. So the last time that she said something about it, I think we was in the living room watching TV. And so we wasn't having sex. Uh, sexual tension wasn't high. None of that shit. So she said it. We talked about it. Um. The very first thing that we tried was yeah, because I know y'all tried y'all tried multiple things, right? Like in the poly world, yeah. you know. So yeah, kind of yeah. break all those down, like the the venture, you know, how you find y'all's way. Well, like, like you said, we started out. Um, some women be freaky on the down low. Wow. Well, <laughs> um, <some women. laughs> True. True. I don't even be reading these comments. Anyway, <laughs> so we started tried swinging. And we met this couple, and he wasn't attracted to the wife, and I wasn't all that attracted to the husband. And so it was kind of like, mm, you know, we weren't really feeling it. And in a swinging, you know, type of situation, sometimes somebody has to lose, you know, somebody has to take one for the team. And neither one of us was willing to sacrifice. So <laughs> we wanted to let them go. And then I think after that, we tried the threesome thing. And I mean, yeah. that was cool, you know, or whatever. But... Don't play it off like it was just cool. Like you didn't enjoy that shit. It wasn't just cool. That shit was bomb. Okay? That shit was bomb. A child of God. The first, I, I like the first, the first time I saw that shit, I was like, God damn. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, so we did the threesome thing, but we have different tastes in women. So, you know, once again, it would have been, I would have been the one to want for the team and I wasn't willing to do that. So, um, I think you came across, how did you figure out or find out the different types of poly? Why do I feel like you had reached out? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, kind of broke up a little bit. Can can y'all hear me? Y'all muted out. Y'all can't hear me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm at the. Oh, they kind of. They kind of went off. Is that? Yeah. Yo, want me to bring y'all back on? My bad, we had a little technical difficulties right there. Let me see. Uh, what is it? Oh, there you go. All right, let's try it again. Let's run that back. Yeah, they yo, cause they have a dope story. Like they. They really been through everything in the poly world. I don't know why you was hating on it. Are y'all good? Y'all here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear y'all now. That okay? Um, I I don't know where we even got like where I got the term polyamory from. I think because so many people were saying that we that we had an open relationship, and yeah. I guess looking at the definition of uh, what it meant to be in an open relationship wasn't what we were doing. Like it wasn't, it, it, in the beginning, it started out just about sex, mm -hmm. but as we transitioned and grew and, and learned. learned more about how we loved and wanted to love, it became deeper than sex. Like yeah. I came to her and I was like, I know we have this agreement, you know, cause at the time we had a bunch of rules. Like, it was a bunch of rules that we that we <laughs> couldn't go out after a certain time. Um, 
couldn't spend a couldn't certain, spend amount, a certain of amount of money. Like it was, it was crazy rules. And then like, as we transitioned, I was like, you know, I like this chick. I don't want to just hop in a sack with her. I want to try to see what's there. Like what's the connection and all of that shit. And like, we had the conversation and she was cool with it. As long as I was cool with her doing the same thing. And I was, um, but I don't, I don't know where the, where we even learned about what it meant to be poly. I guess just trying to understand what it was that we was doing. Yeah. That's kind of how, how we did it. it. That's how, how we just came across it because we didn't know what the hell we was doing. We just thought yeah, we were doing some shit that we said that we had to really research that shit. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, folks saying that, you know, you're in an open relationship and then looking at what open relationship was, it just felt so empty. Like, that's not what we were looking for. That's not what we was about. It was just about the sexual shit. That's not what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, so with all all the ones that y'all said, y'all tried the triad shit, right? And he said it wasn't for y'all, right? Mm. There was there was one that could have been sister wife. One. Yeah. The only one that could have been sister wife. That would have been the only time that we would have even considered like move, we considered moving her in, her and her son having a room at the house, all of that shit. Like we considered that for her. Yeah. But after that after that kind of fell through and we fell out and all of that, we just realized that that wasn't for us. Right. Yeah. Like that's just not that was that was a very special circumstance. Yeah, and that's why I'm trying to show people, like, you know, sometimes you got to maneuver and move move y'all's way into this. And now y'all date separately, you know. Um, right. That part right there. That's why I've been telling everybody, like, yo, you guys think it's always a male, female, female. It, it's, it's so many things. It's also how you guys do it. You know what I mean? I know right. you talk, You had your insecure male um, videos, you know what I mean, which I love. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, really put, you know you put yourself out there. You know, I know those things had to be challenging. Watching your wife step like, how did it? How did that go when y'all seen day one for each other? Like when he went on his first date solo, what was your mind at? And then when she did her little solo the first time, what was your mind at? And what was the challenges that you had to go through? Of course, you know what I mean. You know, I know mentally. I know I'll be bugging. I know shit. I'm, I'm gonna be bugging. <laughs> I'm trying to think who was your first solo date. I think, I think you're that's my. What after my third car experience. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, yeah. That, was that was the last night in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we had a date the same night. Like, we kind of, our first date, like, separate, we kind of planned it on the same weekend. We didn't have our daughter. Um, I think she was gone for the summer or some shit like that. So we didn't have her. There was somebody I was interested in. There was somebody she was interested in. And we just kind of planned it on the same day. Um, but I mean, I was I was cool with it. Um, I don't really have a lot of insecurities. Um, I know I did at one point in time. Um, like when we had first to Atlanta, we lived in a different city and we moved up here to Atlanta. And I started to feel like worthless and insecure. And so I struggled when he was talking to somebody during that time because I was just kind of like, damn, like, I felt like I didn't have anything to bring to the table. Um, but I think for the most part, like, it doesn't really be like all of the women in his past. Um, well, two of the ones in his past, like, I, you know, had a relationship with, I've been cool with. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'm losing y'all again. It's breaking up. Ooh. I lost your voice again. Are you, are you answering the question? No, no, I'm not answering the questions. Yo, I, I can't hear y'all no more. Yeah, I'm gonna answer the questions. Anybody that got questions for them, make sure y'all put them in that square, in that box down there. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I can't, I can't hear you. You wanna bring y'all back on? Yeah, and bring let's bring it back on again. Yeah, I, I don't know or if, that, if it's on the Wi-Fi. Yo, make sure y'all put the questions in that box so I can make sure it goes through the bottom. They can actually see it themselves. It makes it a lot more easier for me. Cause man, look, y'all writing a whole bunch and I can't really 
Look, I'm old. I'm almost 40. <laughs> Let me see where it goes. There it goes. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I look, that way, look, you all look clear now, so I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, look, let's keep this going right here. I had to switch to the Samsung. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that, okay, so back, like, how you said the transition wasn't really nothing. For those that don't know, that don't follow y'all, you know, um, I thought it was the most dope thing when it was, um, and this was, I know these are past people that I'm going to bring up. What's it called? When y'all had that whole photo with the Star Wars and you had your boyfriend there and then you had your girl and then you had the kids and everything and you were unified. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought that was so dope. You know what I mean? That like, was my uh, 31st birthday. Yeah. That was yeah, my yeah. birthday. Yeah. 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 So how did all that feel like? Yo, when, when the first time that um first of all approach let me just break that down first how is that whole situation when you're like yo i'm trying to holler at you i do got a wife i am polyamorous you know what i mean whatever whatnot she does know how does that whole situation go like for you and then also for you you know what I mean? when you're handling with the guys how does that situation go i know for me um i'm kind of hesitant in the beginning like i don't want to say i'm hesitant like i keep the information but i gotta see where the conversation is going if the conversation is going somewhere and i'm really digging it and all of that shit like okay so before we get too deep off in this thing because i'm really digging what you're talking about i'm polyamorous that means i got a wife at home i got a kid you know what I'm saying? i got a family i got priorities i got all of this other shit i'm giving you a choice if you want to keep on talking to me, or if you want to throw the deuces, and if you want to stay deuces, that's cool. Peace and love. <laughs> then, you know, that's that's my approach. And then, luckily, we have YouTube as a platform, so you know, yeah. I can I can use I can send one of our YouTube videos where my wife is in it discussing our lifestyle instead of because sometimes I can't find the right words to say. Yeah, because I, I know um, they, they'll be like, what, nigga? You, you, yeah, and, you, and why then, you wait, it, what? <laughs> and then I can think that I have all the right words, but it means so much more coming from her. Yeah. That works? Good words. Good words. I like it. 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 I like I do that on the side. I, I'm able to have my own relationships there. How do those situations go? Um, It depends on the person, honestly. Um, usually, I get hit on on, like, Instagram and stuff like that. So, like, people already, like, the dudes that try to talk to me, like, they've seen the pictures of him or, you know what I'm saying, or they've, like, looked at my little bio or whatever. So, they kind of have an idea. Um that you know we are poly and stuff like that um some of them you know beyond that oh i'm trying you know they ask like all types of disrespectful questions um and some of them you know come correct but the dude that i'm dating now like he and eddie actually well i met him at a photo shoot that he and eddie did and so he knew i was married from jump street and it wasn't until he watched a interview that he that we did when he was like Oh, okay. You know, and it just kind of went from there. Yeah. Then what did your um, friends and family think about? Oh, yeah, they they date separate for those. That yeah, we date separate. Yeah, we they date, date separate. Together. So they have their own personal relationships, uh, uh, you know, on the side for them. What does your family and friends think about this whole situation? This whole setup that you guys live. Our friends, I well, our friends are supportive. Our friends are like our family. Um. We only have one male friend that's in a relationship, and I think they've kind of discussed it a little bit. Yeah. Um, like sometimes, you know, having monogamous friends, I mean, being monogamous and having poly friends kind of gets you into a little bit of trouble, especially on the dude's side when they start, you know, trying to ask their girl questions. Um, but I mean, all of them are supportive. Um, they've met, they've met the last, anybody that we've brought around. You know, they come events. to functions, the families at the yeah, the family events. Well, as a friend, as, as, a, as a friend, I'm gonna let you know, bro. We was beefing for a minute, a minute. 
me and her, because she was like, yo, I'm in Houston. I was, I was like, oh, you with me? And I'm like, nah, but you know, you can still meet my man. And I'm like, nah, no. No, 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 that is not what happened. Hold on. I need to run up. No, I'm about to run up. <laughs> I was trying to get some weed from this nigga. That's hey, what hey, hey, we all and I told him yeah. that I wasn't with you. This nigga was like, oh, uh-uh. And I was like, that's what? my man. I can't do it. <laughs> that's my dog. I appreciate you, man. No. That's love. That nigga was that's like, my, that's my brother right there. Let, 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 let's, let's get some of these questions. That's my brother. Let's get some of these questions because they, 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 they get it, though. Get trouble. All right. They don't want that day. They don't want that this day in time. Because I said, it's not even a question. But turned out, yeah, it's not even really a question. Hold on. This, this. I, don't know. I know your husband and wife, but are you best friends too? Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's that my dog, fact. man. That, that is fact. That is That's fact. my dog. Yes, they care. Will you always date separately? Yes, yes. I think that 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 uh, sister wife option is is gone. It's gone. Yeah, that's why, gone. Why, why do y'all feel like it suits you up more in that in that lane? Because of the differences of what you're attracted to, that you know, to be just dealing with your uh, relationship separately like that, like that brings more balance for you guys. I think it's just the the freedom to move you know what i'm saying like i don't yes i have to make she is a priority right and my uh, my girlfriend is also a priority but I, I think for me it's it's easier to separate the two because i i i can focus on kiera when i when i need to focus on kiera and i can focus on my girlfriend when i need to focus on my girlfriend and it's not all entangled all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like I like when if me and Kiara are beefing, which happens a lot, um, that doesn't affect me and my girlfriend's relationship. Like there there are certain things that I will not talk to my girlfriend about if me and Kiara are going through some things. And then there are some things that I will not talk to Kiara about if me and my girlfriend are going through some things. But I felt like when we were trying to do the whole sister wife thing, it kind of got tangled up a little bit. Yeah, and uh, not really. I don't. I don't agree. Well, after the fact. After the fact. After yes, the fact. Because, it got messy. because her and I were cool. Like we had a very good relationship, even after he, you know, even after they didn't work out, and he was dating somebody else. Like her and I were still cool. Um, but that became messy because. He still had feelings for her. She wasn't yeah. really looking with him like that because he was dating somebody else, but she wasn't giving him what he needed. So he was trying to move on, but her and I were still cool. And she was being messy to the girlfriend. So it was just, it was it just, was a lot. <laughs> it was way too much. So I had to go ahead and cut it off. Like, you know, she cool as shit, but I, it was, it was too much for me because my loyalty is always going to be to him. Yeah. Someone asked, um, at the table asked, um, to a young lady with Kiara, do you fall in love with your boyfriends? Um, it depends. Um, it depends on the energy. It depends on the person. It depends on how long we've been together. It, it depends. I have. It's not closed off. Because yeah. the young lady that we was considering being a sister wife, I was in love with her. Right. Yeah. She, I think, I think that's, Kiara that's, called me out on it before I even told Kiara. So she, because she knows me and she knows how I am when I really care for somebody, when I love, when I really love somebody and she could tell that I was in love with her. So she asked me, are you in love with her? And I was like, damn, okay, let's have this conversation. Right. Like how, how do we have this conversation? Like, okay, we, we agreed to, to this, you know, we was, we could go out, we could spend money, we could spend the night and all of that shit. But how do we have the. I'm in love with another woman conversation. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, the woman that I'm married to is understanding. And because I feel like, you know, we are taking this journey together. There are a lot of things that we are learning together. There are things that she is learning about me, that I'm learning about her, that we're learning about each other. Yeah. And it's just one of those things that I was like, damn, okay. This is different, but this is nice. But it took us to that right, next level. Right, like, right. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, hold on, let me get, get another question, because they are coming. Are the people you date allowed to date other people themselves? Yes. You yes. I, I say all the time, um, because I, I get asked that question often whenever I am interested in somebody. Um, well, am I able to date? Yeah, hell, like I got a whole family at home. What I look like telling you to wait on me, because mm -hmm. this ain't going nowhere. This is permanent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the core. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the core. That's why I right. tell people when I speak about you guys, I'm like, yo, their relationship is so dope, you know what I mean? Because they're best friends. And then they're so open with each other, you know what I mean? To a sense, even when you feel like, um, I know one time you spoke about you looked out for each other when you felt the person that each other was dating was not kind of right or suited, you know, it's that energy, that vibe, that you're able to have that communication and not see it as if it's just being jealousy. Oh, he's just telling me this, or she's telling me that out of spite. She don't right. want to deal with her. It'd be some honest transparency there. And that shit is dope, just knowing the situation, because it's crazy. That, that's a lie. You know what I mean? It definitely took a while for us to get there, mm -hmm. because there was a point in the beginning of our journey that I was very insecure and jealous, like, incredibly insecure and jealous of the dudes that she was talking to and if i've made it up in my mind i don't like you i ain't gotta have a reason but i made it up in my mind i'm not gonna like you yeah so once once i've made that up i don't like you but there have so it went from okay i'm just being petty as fuck to i really feel something is off with this dude and if i say something to her she gonna feel like i'm hating but if I don't say anything and I let it play out how I think it's going to play out, then this thing got to catch a bullet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really, it's, you know, or, what do you want? What is one or two options? So it's either I'm going to tell you what I feel, because vibes don't lie. That's right. And they have not lied yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once we got past the insecurity stage, well, the bulk of the insecurity stage, um, and I was really able to, or she would come to me and ask me my opinion. I've learned to separate husband from best friend. Yeah. Because sometimes she needs her best friend. Mm -hmm. And other times she needs her husband. So I'll ask her, you want husband opinion or you want best friend opinion? Give me best friend opinion. Cool. Husband has to go and sit down and step out of the situation. That means I got to swallow my emotions and my feelings and the anger and all of that shit that talks to you like, yo, homie, give you that shit. Not all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Not all that shit. Um, but that has, that has happened a few times, a couple times. Yeah. And even with her, like, she has to separate the wife from the, the homie type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, because I'm very protective of him. Like, I'm very, very protective. Like, and I'm trying to learn now, like I've, I've learned from him to try to separate the two because, you know, I've seen him done wrong in the past. And although Eddie can be an asshole, I am. Um, you know, <laughs> he has a very big heart. Like he very tough on the exterior, but yeah. like when he fucks with you, like his heart is open. It's genuine. To you. So yeah. Like when people mistreat him and although he's a grown ass man and he can take care of himself, like I get very defensive and like that shit is not easy. It's not easy sometimes. All right, hold on. Everybody keeps telling me I send questions <laughs> and they they are sending questions like crazy. Here's uh 